Hey guys, welcome back to Zombie Soup Junkyard. This is Danny. If you are viewing this video, there's a possibility you have no idea what Peppacora is. You're probably thinking, it has something to do with paper. Correct. But there's more to it. There's quite a bit more, actually. So good job stumbling on this video, because we're going to clear all that confusion right up. You probably started with Google and went, Hey Google, what's this thing? And Google probably wasn't very much help. Searching what is Peppacura on Google will most likely land you on the Wikipedia page for paper modeling, leaving us with the following description. Paper models, also called card models or paper craft, are models constructed mainly from sheets of heavy paper, paperboard, cardstock, or foam. And looking just a little further down, we can see Peppacura is the art of combining these model types to build complex creations, such as wearable suits of armor, life-size characters, and accurate weapon models. While this is a correct description for what Peppacura truly is, it's pretty damn vague, and it'll vary a bit from the definition most cosplayers might have in their heads. This might be confusing, so let me explain what I mean by that. For most cosplayers, the Peppacura process starts with downloading some pep files, such as these, or these, or these. Printing these files out onto cardstock allows you to begin the cutting process, ending up with what are essentially a shit ton of puzzle pieces that, when assembled, will begin to take the shape of the intended model. Now this is where cosplayers start to veer off from that traditional definition of Peppacura. These folded models are still cardstock, hella flimsy, and angular in ways that resemble low-poly models completely unsuited to costuming. To transform something like this into something more akin to this, two additional steps must be done. Applying fiberglass to the interior of the part for reinforcement, and then applying a putty to the exterior to remove the rough angles. So by now, you're probably wondering what applications Peppacura actually excels at. Simply put, PEP is ideal for creating hard armor that requires no flexing, where strength is of high importance, and weight does not need to be minimized. A properly finished Peppacura cosplay will be able to deal with some severe abuse, being able to take several hard impacts with some minor scuffing. Do keep in mind that this comes at the cost of weight as the fiberglass layers add up and can make parts have some heft to them. However, if your goal is to create armor that really looks and feels like the real stuff, then honestly Peppacura is a completely viable option. Disclaimer, please do not hit your armor with hammers. This pained me on an emotional level. Additionally, completed Peppacura lends itself extremely well to manufacturing copies, whether via mold making or vacuum forming. On screen are a few pictures of some molds and casts that I've made using Peppacura to make the master cast. If you're looking to produce multiple copies of a certain costume or prop, Peppacura is hands down one of the best ways to go about it. So what do you actually need to get started with Peppacura? Well, right off the bat, you're going to need paper. It's, it's in the name, paper modeling. To create the paper model, you're going to want to use heavy cardstock, as it's solid and thick enough to provide decent structural support while still being easy to work with. Now, a glue of some kind is going to be required to hold the paper pieces together, and I recommend hot glue due to availability and ease of use. Everyone's used a hot glue gun before, they're super easy to work with, etc. etc. But other glues are viable. If you want to use super glue or white glue, that's honestly up to you. It just comes down to personal preference. Fiberglass is going to be one half of the materials needed to reinforce the paper part. Buy the stuff that comes labeled as fiberglass cloth, as the fibers are woven together and will prove easier to work with. Be extremely careful when handling this, as the fibers can be extremely irritating and will make your life hell if they get into your soft fleshy bits. Anyone who's installed fiberglass insulation will know this pain. A fiberglass resin is the other half of the hardening equation, being used to soak the fiberglass cloth and provide the actual hardening agent necessary to solidify the parts. Now do keep in mind, the fumes from this are extremely toxic. 
so make sure not to breathe them in. Bondo putty, often used to do car body repair, is applied to the entire external surface before being sanded down to the desired smoothness and finish. Think of this part as sculpting the piece down to shape. Now, while there will be some other tools that will be necessary, such as knives and other small things such as spot putty, I tried to cover the basics for what you will need. To end this video, let's discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of Peppercora. High detail. Peppercora will lend itself well to the parts that have many small details or features, as the hardness of the Peppercora keeps those details from deforming, and the Bondo place on top will allow you to sculpt those details to any shape that you require. High strength. Parts made using this method will be able to put up with a lot of abuse, as seen previously, although they will still have their limits. The parts will resist breaking, but will crack if pushed too far. Versatility of reproduction. Thanks to their rigidity and high strength, PEP parts lend themselves extremely well to recasting, whether by molding or vacuum forming, and their high strength will allow you to keep the original Peppacura part as a master copy. Now let's move on to some cons. High weight. The layers of fiberglass and resin. While they will provide high strength, come at the cost of adding quite a bit of weight to the armor. And when compared to other methods such as foam, the difference in weight can be significant. High cost. As shown previously, the amount of materials needed to get into Peppercura can be quite a bit numerous, and some of those can be a bit costly. Although you will get what you pay for in terms of strength and quality of final product. Safety. Peppercura involves working with fiberglass and resin, both of which can be extremely harmful if proper safety precautions are not taken. You're going to want to wear proper safety equipment, and please follow all directions properly. I hope this was able to explain what Peppercura actually is, and maybe clear up some of the confusion around it, as I know some people thought it only referred to the paper crafting aspect of it. Peppercura can be versatile, and it was the first costly method I ever learned so I'm clearly a bit biased towards it. However, I will be doing a video series like this for every costume method I can think of, including foam, 3D printing, warbler, things such as that. So stay tuned for more of these styles of videos. Thank you guys very much for watching. Links to my social media are down in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more.